हेलो फ्रेंड्स वी आर इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू सी द डिस्क्रिप्शन ऑफ कॉन्स्टेंट वॉल्यूम प्रोसेस ऑल्सो कॉल्ड एस आइसोकोरिक प्रोसेस now in constant volume or isogoric process since this is the application of first law of thermodynamics to closed system so here i'll draw the diagram of that closed system now suppose here we have a closed container inside which there are gases or we can say air which is trapped so they are not allowed to escape out from this container now if we are heating this container by giving some external heat this is the amount of heat which is given to the container now whatever the amount of heat which we are giving that increases the internal energy of the gas which is present here i write down that here it is a gas and since the boundaries are fixed the gases cannot escape out or they cannot give the work output because the volume is remaining constant so this example can be understood as a constant volume process in which the gases when they are heated from external source they would be increasing the internal energy of the gas without giving any work output because here the boundaries are not movable if the boundaries would have been movable in that case we would have got work output from this system so now this is the pressure volume diagram for the process i'll see that the process is from 1 to 2 now here v1 is equal to v2 the volume remains constant pressure rises from p1 to p2 so this is called as heating at constant volume now here i'll write down first the relation which is pvt relation so the first thing would be relation between pressure volume and temperature now first i write down for state 1 here P1, V1 upon T1, and then for state two, it is P2, V2 upon T2. All these terms are constant, denoted by C. Next, as during the process one to two, the volume is constant. V1 is equal to V2, so we can cancel them out. Here V1 and V2 will get cancelled out. So what remains is therefore P1 upon T1. is equal to p2 upon t2 and this gives the relation for constant volume process between pressure and temperature at state 1 and 2 so this is the pv and t relation from the constant volume process now work done is given by a formula that is very simple and it is integral of pdv 
and from the states 1 to 2 now this is the formula of work done it means it is given by pressure into change in volume so here we have PV diagram and this PV diagram gives us the amount of work done or the amount of work transfer it indicates that if we are getting an area under this PV diagram that area will be corresponding to the amount of work done during any general process now since it is constant volume process and as we can see for the constant volume process this is just a straight line not a complete area it means there is increase in pressure but the volume remains constant so there is no change in volume if there is no change in volume then the value of v2 minus v1 will be zero it means the change in volume is not there and here if the change in volume is zero the total amount of work done during the constant volume process becomes equal to zero i'll write down here since change in volume delta v which is equal to v2 minus v1 is equal to 0 and why it is 0 because v1 is equal to v2 so it means there is no change in volume if there is no change in volume there is not no amount of work which is done and it can be explained from this diagram as well that if we are having a constant volume process or a completely fixed boundary from this fixed boundary the gases cannot move out they cannot escape it means energy cannot be transferred from the gases to any external medium because of the boundary being fixed so this process can be treated as a constant volume process in which the total amount of work done is zero whatever the heat transfer which we are giving from external source that goes on increasing the internal energy of the gas without any work transfer So next, after writing work done, I'll say that change in internal energy is given by delta U and the general formula of internal energy is MCV into final temperature which is T2 minus initial temperature which is T1. Next, I'll say that assuming mass of gas which is small m that is equal to 1 kg it means we are analyzing this process for 1 kg mass so therefore the change in internal energy will become delta U is equal to Cv T2 minus T1 previously we have found out the amount of work done which was equal to zero and now the amount of internal energy for a constant volume process it means internal energy is not equal to zero as compared to the work done work done was zero because there was no change in volume but there is change in temperature because of which there will be change in internal energy now internal energy it can either increase or decrease if we are providing heat energy into the system which causes increase in temperature then because of that increase in temperature there will be increase in internal energy if we are decreasing the temperature from the system there will be decrease in internal energy next after reaching here heat transfer for constant volume process is given by now first I'll write the general formula of heat transfer heat transfer is equal to the amount of work done plus the amount of internal energy or we can say the change in internal energy so this is the general formula for heat transfer work done if 
we are giving work into the system it means if work is done on the system this work done will be negative if we are getting work output from the system it will be treated as positive change in internal energy if change in internal energy increases it will be positive if it decreases then it will be negative now here i can say that the amount of work done is equal to zero in case of constant volume process so therefore heat transfer is equal to change in internal energy since work done is equal to zero for constant volume process so therefore the amount of heat transfer will be equal to same as change in internal energy which was cv t2 minus t1 and here the analysis is on per kg basis we are assuming the mass of gas as 1 kg and where this cv is called as specific heat at constant volume unit is kilojoule per kg kelvin and for air the standard value of cv it is 0.718 kilojoule per kg kelvin so here we have seen that how in case of constant volume process what are the changes which are taking place how is the pressure volume temperature relation how is the what is the amount of work done in this case the amount of work done is equal to zero then what is change in internal energy and finally heat transfer and the name of the process was constant volume process also called as isochoric process so in this video we have seen this complete process in detail